the ferry over from Seattle to Bainbridge Island. We did. And uh, it's near Seattle, but you already mentioned that. We you? did. What are we here for? We are here to go to the historical museum and see something to do with pickleball. Yes. Hey, sure, Tom. <gasps> oh. <laughs> so yes, pickleball did start here on Bainbridge Island in 1965. It was a uh, one of the gentlemen was a legis was in the legislature, and he and a friend. Oh, he, I'll try and be in the picture. <laughs> well, he and a friend, a work colleague or something like that, came home, and this gentleman's kids were bored, and so they decided to come up with a game that would entertain them and they went in the garage and tried to figure out what they could find and they found uh, bad mittens and bad bitten nets and wiffle balls and they put together this game in their backyard and then three days later like a week later Mr. McCollum, I don't remember his first name, sorry Mr. McCollum, who I think might even still be alive came over and the three of them put together, came up with the rules for pickleball 1965 so this is ground zero, actually their front yard is ground zero. I don't know where it is. It's kept very, very secret. Very secret. But we're going to go to the historical museum that actually has some information about the pickleball. I don't know. I don't know what looking like crab looks like. Okay. You just don't throw it at me. Yeah. Do you guys even throw fish anymore? You are? I mean, that's plenty. Yeah. What? It's going to be a grip. Oops. Yeah. yeah. It is it's, it's a special occasion. It's a little expensive. It's a little expensive, but it's a special occasion. Okay? All right. Hey, uh, Johannes, can I get a couple of TTs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Wow. Colonizing your law, like yeah. The mushroom knows this is all food I'm gonna get. I need to survive so it flushes. That's the blooming body of the mushroom. That's the part we eat. They come out randomly around the log, a different place every time. You pluck them off and eat them. Soak your log and your mushroom fruits are flushing so again and it? again and again for three to five years. Wow. The bigger the log, the longer the number of years you get, and the more the number of mushrooms. So how do you keep it? You just put it. You keep it inside or outside. Where do you live? San, San Diego. Diego. You would keep it inside because okay. you're too dry and yeah. too hot. Okay. They will grow outside, but you're not going to get a lot of mushrooms. Inside your home or office, they'll do just fine. Like they don't need it, anything. The log takes care of the mushroom. You just take care of the log. Keep it out of direct sun. Like right here, there's no direct sun. Right. There's plenty of light. They don't want dark. 
and you give it water. Soak the log overnight, once a month, period. All the instructions are on the back of the label. Okay. Can we try it? I've always want. I've always been itching the lion's mane. Yeah, yeah. This is the last two of the day. Whoa. So what? Are, how much are these? These are twenty-five. Let's try it. Okay. Okay. Let me get you a paper. I'll wrap them up for you. Just the one. Just one. Okay. We're gonna be owners of lion mushrooms. We're gonna be growing mushrooms. I'm so excited. I, just... I got my log from a farmer on Mount Rainier. This tree came from Mount Rainier. Did it? Tree Mount so do you have to have a certain kind of wood to put yes, this into? You do. And you have to match it to the mushroom. And I figured it all out. Did you? I, did. I have a PhD. It took me a year to get to the information. <laughs> Seriously? I to back to the agricultural literature of the third world. Really? Now, how do you know? Because like mushrooms grow, but sometimes they're very bad for you. Like they'll kill you. Bad. Well, you either know that and keep your nose out of them. <laughs> <laughs> what I do, I live in the forest. I have 30 acres of old growth forest on Mount Rainier, and I don't eat wild mushrooms. Okay, you just I eat like the ones you cultivate. Mushroom. Right. Cultivate okay. Which one you want? The pink one. Yeah, yeah, the pink one. So besides the instructions on the back of the label, on the label also is contact information. Okay. It comes directly to me. Okay. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. There are no mushroom emergencies. <laughs> We shall call him the Simba. Part, no, not even one mushroom. No. no. The hardest part is keeping them out of direct sun. Seems like a lot of people don't understand what no. direct, no. direct sun, sun. We, we have a place with no direct sun. Yeah, yeah. 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 Indoors. And, yeah. <laughs> and they don't put down roots or anything, so you can move them around and put them different places. Just put it like on a dish? Like on a, a cool dish. dish? You put a cup hook in and hang it in your pantry, stick it in a bookshelf cubby, put it on the corner of your desk as a conversation piece. I am so excited. Yeah. I am so excited. We're going to call him Simba. Simba the mushroom. Simba the lion mushroom. You have to send me a picture, okay? I will be happy to do that. You got our, your card. Yep. Fungi. Okay. Yeah. So fungi are entirely different. So how long before we can actually see this lion's mane coming through? Oh, uh, you're going to grow it inside. It's probably going to be next summer. Might okay. Be earlier. Okay. It might be later. All right. Depends how you treat your mushroom. All right. Tell you what, babe, if you are a foodie, pro shiki, this is the place to be. Wow. Whoa. If you are into food, this is it. Now, I am not, I'm just going to say this, I'm not a huge Starbucks person. I do like some of their drinks, but this is the flagship store. Notice the roped off stanchions and people waiting in an ever so long line for the very first Starbucks store. Wow. And the line goes on and on. Aww. Aww. He's like, I've had it. I'm done. <laughs> That's it, I'm done. Wow. Thank you very much. Thanks. Oh. Sure. My shirt is getting a lot of attention today. Hmm. Who knew? It's one of my favorites. <laughs>